Welcome to the fourth video in this series, Excel for Stock Market, where we publish 30 different Excel templates and explain them in 30 videos in 30 days. If you have not seen the previous videos, we will provide the link to the playlist so you can watch all these videos. And also all these templates are available to download from insara.com. The URL is on the screen as well as on the um, in the video description below so you can actually go and visit and download these templates. In this video, we will talk about this candlestick chart and the template allows you to create the candlestick charts for any stock symbol. And in this video, I'll talk about how to use this template and then a brief introduction to what the candlestick is and how to in interpret the data there. And then finally, a little bit into overview of how the template is actually built. Before we get started, if you have not subscribed to this channel yet, please do so now. And if you like the content, please like and share with your friends. Now, before we get started, I do want to say that I did record the whole video about this candlestick chart just now, and I realized that the file was corrupted and I basically lost everything. And now I'm re-recording it. Um, anyway, that's just the nature of how these recordings happen. <laughs> so let's get started. The first section, I want to talk about how to use this template. So we have this template where we can type in the stock uh, sticker symbol. So let's say, for example, instead of Tesla, I want to type in um, so XNAS for NASDAQ stock exchange, and I do MSFT for Microsoft. Now you see that, you know, it took maybe one second, two seconds, and now you actually get data from the service for Microsoft ticker symbol in the NASDAQ stock exchange. And you can see the current price and all the um, statistics and the metrics around the stock here on the, on the left about the company. And then on the right, you have the candlestick chart. So in the previous videos, we have covered about these. So we're going to focus on only the uh, candlestick chart in this video. This candlestick chart obviously displays in candles um, that you can see, and it has the same functionality as previous videos around. Um, you can do a three month, six month, year to date. Uh, obviously, the candles become a little bit you know, hard to read, but you can see them um, in there, and we can even do five years of candles. If I go back to year to date, we can also change this to weekly or monthly. There we go. So this is how um, the, the chart and the template works. Apart from this, there's not a lot of input. So you can actually see the time it's represented here. I am uh, in a time zone, which is seven hours behind the UTC. So I put minus seven here. In your case, if you're ahead of the UTC, put that number. Uh, and then you can obviously, if you don't know what your offset is, you can on search online. I think savvytime.com is one of the websites where you can just type it in or even Google. Um, you, can, you can find the offset from UTC and then type that many number of hours here. So now this is how the template, you know, you use the template. Now let's go in a little bit into the second um, section of this video, which is about what is the candlestick. And so in order to illustrate this, I'm going to go into the five day window. Um, so we can pick, I think, any of these examples here. So we have the five candles for five days. In order to see and um, illustrate this, I want to click on the chart, go to chart design, add chart element, and I'm going to choose data labels show. You can see that the data labels up here. I'm going to zoom in so we can get a clearer picture. I'm going to right click on this and say format data labels. I will do series name, click on this series name, click on this series name, click on this series name. Okay, there are four series that we are plotting in the in a candlestick chart. So that's why there are four different series that we are naming. So now take let's take this green one in the middle as an example to start with. So there are four points that a candlestick uh, represents. This is the body of the candle and it has the opening price of the stock and then the closing price. So the price opened at 231.37 and it finally closed at 235.75. So in this case, the closing price is greater than the open and that's why the candle is green. On the let's take another example, maybe the day before it opened at 235.9 and closed at 231.6. So the closing price is less than the open. So it's a red candle. So depending on what happened between the open and close, the colors vary. So that's one thing to remember. 
Green means it closed higher than the open and red means it closed less than the open. The other thing here is that in a green candle, the open will be here and then the close will be above. And then in the red candle, the open will be represented in the top edge of the rectangle. And then the uh, close will represent the bottom of the rectangle. So that's something that you need to orient yourselves to. The other important thing here is the, the wicks, the thin line that go on the top and in the bottom. And this is the lower wick or the lower shadow. And then this is the upper wick on the upper shadow. And this represents the top tip of this line represents the highest point of the stock value. So the, on this day, the stock rose as up, uh, up to $239.17. And then that's what's represented here. So opposite side will be the lowest point it went to. So on that day, the price went as low as 227.13. So that's what's represented here. So depending on what was the low and what was the high, the these um, thin lines or the wicks can be short or really long. So in this case, on the previous day, you see that it was a really long um, lower wick. And then on the on this day, the following day, the high that was a really long upper wick. So it means it went up really high, but it still finally closed you know, really at this $230. So the message there is that depending on these four price points for each day, you can have different shapes of the candles, different colors, and also different, um, you know, orientation, whether the it's a, in some cases, you may not have any wick at all. For example, this day, if I scroll to the right, you see that the, the opening price and the lowest price are almost similar. So the wick is really, really, really short there. Um, so there are there's a lot of theory, there's a lot of material around different shapes and sizes of the candles um, and then the patterns and how to interpret them. So if you're interested in this, I'm happy to do a little bit more research and then do a video on that. But just remember that there are four series of price points that we are plotting in the shape of a candlestick. That is what's happening here. And these represent the open, high, low, and close price points for the stock that we are looking at. So that was the introduction, <laughs> brief introduction, my view of the um, candlestick chart and how what they represent. Now for the final part of the video, let's go into how we actually develop this template so that the uh, candlestick chart can be created with the dynamic nature and the uh, interactivity. Before I do that, I want to um, remove all these different labels because the labels can become very, very hard um, to read once you expand your time frame to six months or something like that. Okay, now in order to explain how the template was built, I'm going to go and just open up, unhide the help sheet first. And I'm not going to go into all these steps because we have done that in the previous videos. But I just want to show that the the history of data, history of the price, is available here and open, high, low, close, and the date. These are the five columns that are plotted on the chart. And the chart itself, if you right click and do change the chart type, it will show what type of chart we are using here. We are using a stock category chart, specifically the open, high, low, close type of chart. There are also three other types of charts. They're all built by Microsoft and Excel for representing the stock data. So we are using one of those charts. And then what we are feeding as inputs to that chart, you can see by doing select data, you see the open, high, low, close series, and then the dates. This is what we are providing as inputs, and that is how the candlestick chart automatically um, gets created. So we're not doing anything ourselves to build a candle. Um, there is a way you can actually build a candle on your own, uh, but we are just using the default stock um, chart itself to do that. And then um, the other thing I want to tell you is we can right click on, for example, click on the green um, colored candle and then you can change it to from the fill section. Instead of the green, you can change it to another color. 
those will be represented as white and then all the red ones which represent the down so let me and you can also select from here you can see the down bars and then I instead of red I can make this let's say black so you can essentially change the candles from a red yellow theme to a, a black and white theme if this is a little bit easier um, to read so you can change the colors there we go so if you like this video please share with your friends and uh, subscribe to this channel if you have any questions or if you have any suggestions on how i can make this better or how i could how i could have made this better please uh, post your comments in the comments below i will see you tomorrow in the next video in this series once again all these templates are available to download from inzara.com i will see you all tomorrow